In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Vibrant Visuals not working. Now, there's actually multiple reasons why this could be happening, but in this video, we're going to go ahead and look at the common problems and solutions. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and first of all, open up your settings. Then you want to head and scroll down until you see video. Then we're going to go ahead and scroll down more right over here. And guys, if you actually did turn on Vibrant Visuals and Experimental Gameplay whenever you created your Minecraft world on like a preview or beta, then you should see a drop down menu over here that does say graphics mode and over here, it will give you a bunch of different options but you will notice that up here we actually do have this toggle that says use recommended texture limit and essentially what this does is that if you have a lower end device it will basically restrict you from using vibrant visuals or any of the more advanced graphics features so what you need to do is you need to go ahead and turn this off because this could actually cause some issues so i recommend that you go ahead and turn it off like so and then go ahead and see if you can now enable vibrant visuals but keep in mind if you do have a lower end device then vibrant visuals may actually cause your game to lag or even crash crash but definitely go ahead and consider taking a look at that and make sure to go ahead and turn this off and by the way if you guys are ever running into performance issues then you guys could always go ahead and just turn down the render distance but if you guys can't even see this menu period then what that means is that you are not on a minecraft preview or beta and also that you did not turn on vibrant visuals whenever you created your minecraft world all right so here we are and you will notice that it will say minecraft preview and if you have no idea how to access it then all you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher all right then you need to make sure you are logged into your minecraft account and then you want to go ahead and select on minecraft bedrock edition then where it says later release make sure to go ahead and select on latest preview then go ahead and press on play okay and here's the thing guys whenever you create your world what you need to do is you need to go ahead and turn on experiments so you need to go ahead and just turn all of these on literally turn them all and, and more particularly you want to go ahead and turn on vibrant visuals so go ahead and press on that and you basically want to turn on all of these other options over here and from here you should be able to go ahead and create your minecraft world and then afterwards i want you guys to check if you actually are are able to go ahead and turn on vibrant visuals after you did all of that but guys if you're still running into issues then another reason why this could be happening is that you're trying to run different texture packs that just are not compatible with vibrant visuals and if you do use them then it won't even let you use vibrant visuals in the first place so what i recommend that you guys do is deactivate all texture packs that you're using so what you need to do is you need to go ahead and open up settings then you need to go ahead and select on global resources and where it says active you want to make sure that only minecraft texture pack is the only one here if you have like a bunch of different texture packs over here then it could actually interfere with vibrant visuals and then you won't be able to use it and sometimes even mods interfere with this as well because i know that the animation mod that's really popular in minecraft i forgot the exact name of it but basically whenever you try using those types of mods then vibrant visuals will not work so yeah you should only use vibrant visuals without a texture pack or without any mods and by the way if you are on a pc i always recommend that you guys update your graphics driver so i'll be leaving some guys in the description down below showing you guys how to do that because there's a ton of different graphics cards out there and depending on what graphics card you have the process may be slightly different but the point is you want to make sure that your graphics card is up to date and also in the top menu like you see the text uh where it has like a bunch of stuff over here it is actually going to tell you what graphics card it is using to enable your graphics so as you're able to tell mine is in rtx 2060 so you basically just want to make sure that it is using your actual graphics card and not your cpu or anything like that because if you're using a cpu then it may not actually work all right now let's go ahead and talk about mobile devices so if you're on a mobile device basically the things that we mentioned here will still apply you will need to go ahead and enable experiment mode and you will need to be on the latest minecraft beta now there is actually system requirements on minecraft android so if you are on a mobile device then there is actually system requirements which i'll put up on the screen right now so essentially your device needs to be above those system requirements in order to actually enable vibrant visuals so if you guys have like a very low end device and it's like really old then unfortunately chances are it may not actually meet the requirements to run vibrant visuals which is honestly incredibly sad um but you know vibrant visuals is pretty heavy and it does require a lot of power to actually run but if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe see you later french fries